Hello YouTube, today I'll be working on the bucking coil transformer. So this here is the transformer mold in two pieces and there's a, a small lip between the pieces right right there to prevent epoxy and um, from leaking out. So this here is magnetite or ma black sand, ma magnetic sand and I have uh, the epoxy here. And I'll be combining everything in this plastic uh, container. It's actually half of a vinegar uh, bottle. And here are my dimensions. So um, the shaft is 106 millimeters, uh, diameter is 18 millimeters, and the top is 11.45 millimeters. And uh, that's what it's going to look like at the end. We're going to make it cast it and then uh, we're going to test the electrical properties here I have uh, the casting drying and um, this is the my, my uh, trend bucking coil transformer with the pointed uh, and and this is just a coil that I had laying about and uh, this is a small PVC tube I'm gonna see how it that turns out and I still ended up with a bunch of magnetite left. I used 10 spoons of magnetite and 30 milliliters of uh, hardener and 30 milliliters of epoxy. So that ends up being way too much. It was really hard to gauge uh, how much to use. And um, we'll see how it turns out. Several days later, here is the result of the magnetite casting. This is the small PVC tube um, with magnetite. It's magnetic. It turned out really well. Okay. This is the um, spool with magnetite. Uh, except for I slightly cracked it at the bottom when I was trying to remove it. It turned out pretty well. So this is the magnetite casting that um, I 3D printed. Hello YouTube. Um, I'm going to try a different approach for creating this um, bucking transformer uh, piece and this is the piece uh, that I want uh, out of uh, black sand so I want, uh, but um, so uh, I 3D printed what the piece is supposed to look like out of plastic and um, I'll be mixing all-purpose silicone with this cornstarch in this um, container and um, then I'll press this piece into it and I'll use um, that as a mold for my um, magnetite sand and this is the old mold that was a disaster because I couldn't separate the two halves see they're fused together anyway so I'm gonna proceed to cut into this and mix it with um, cornstarch okay um, make sure you wear proper uh, respirator because um, you know vapors from silicone can um, give people breathing problems and try to do, the, the, do this in a well ventilated area it's hard to talk with the respirator on anyway so this is uh, silicone and cornstarch mixed so it uh, get it all uh, get the consistency basically work work this like dough and uh, until it becomes nice and even and then I'm going to push the um, piece into it this is a lot cheaper than buying um, mold, uh, mold, you know, uh, from a craft store. Okay, this is my mold uh, completed. I have the 3D printed uh, piece pushed inside of the mold. And I'll have to wait until it dries completely, until the silicone dries. And uh, it should um, be flexible. And um, I should just be able to take the 3D uh, printed piece out and replace that piece with uh, epoxy and magnetite. I was just going to point out that this thing looks exactly like dough. I mean, just look at it. It's crazy. This is a dead ringer for like a... I don't know... Like a dough for a pizza or something. It's, it's really weird. Okay, this is the mold finished and uh, I just have to take the 3D printed part out and put uh, magnetite and epoxy inside okay my mold has finished curing as you can see it turned out 
pretty nice, the walls are nice and straight and um, I just have to m make my magnetite uh, and epoxy mix and put it inside for my uh, casting I used easy cast epoxy and it's uh, mi mixed one to one is the mix ratio and here's magnetite in here and here's the box for it easy cast epoxy and um, you want a separate container to mix it in and um, you don't uh, necessarily need a lot of epoxy you want to make sure you, ha you have as much magnetite as you can fit in there so um, mix it really well okay so this is the transformer part that I casted uh, with magnetite um, and in this um, silicone mold here here's the three d printed part and um, this is a different technique of uh, trying to get these um, uh, magnetite pieces is uh, you, you end up you can bypass uh, the silicone mold and just make a mold out of um, uh, 3D printer mold basically and but the problem is uh, this there's no way to take it apart so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a heat gun and I'm gonna heat the outside of this until the um, material is extremely um, pliable and this is um, PLA this is PLA plastic You can already start to see the um, magnetite inside. This is a very destructive process. It involves heating and just getting to work destroying your mold. And make sure you, you use gloves because it's going to get really hot. Okay, I finally got the magnetite inside of the mold. This is definitely uh, a lot more labor intensive than um, using the, silic the silicone um, mold. Uh, and silicone mold you can reuse again and again so so the silicone mold I think is a superior uh, method of doing this okay here are the two cast transformers uh, side by side transformer cores okay this is the one where we use the um, silicone as you can see it has a smoother surface but for some reason it's missing a chip so I don't know what happened there and this is the one from the 3D printed mold as you can see it has a rougher surface to it okay well there you go you can use these techniques to make any shape transformers you want thanks for watching I wanted to add a few words about magnetite Magnetite can sometimes be compared uh, with uh, metaglass, which is some of the best uh, core material for transformers. Magnetite is almost like metaglass, but uh, obviously a lot cheaper, because mag magnetite is um, basically you get a giant bag for, I don't know, $20. Uh, but metaglass costs uh, hundreds of dollars, uh, transformers out of metaglass. Anyway, um, the cool thing about magnetite is that it doesn't have um, magnetic memory. So um, once you magnetize the material, it will demagnetize readily without any kind of trace magnetism to it. So that makes it ideal for transformers. Got some pieces stuck on there.